Queen Roadkill Can here, and today we're doing a memory lane. Just let me turn this around. Today for memory lane and with toys and weird stuff, this is Extreme Board Rack. Show your stuff. And it has it in French. So, I don't know if you guys remember the fingerboard craze or the finger toy uh, craze that spawned, but ta-da! So here is a collection of all my old boards. We're going to take a little bit closer look at these a second. So let's uh, let's zoom down. So this here actually was my first board. I didn't even know I had these still, but I mean, it's kept in such a good case. I could see why. Um, so basically you go like this and then you do all these random tricks. And I actually had even like a half pipe set back in the day for these. These things were huge. They're super affordable for parents, so the parents love the ideas. I mean, these things were like, this one was $2. I have some more collectible ones that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, this one here is a Tony Hawk one. Uh, it came with some stickers to put on, so it's like your real deck, you know, back in the day. Tech deck, which was like, you know, because skateboarding was huge, and you could change out the wheels. I'm... Not exactly sure why I changed one to black and didn't do the rest, but I did. Now this one, uh, the truck is right here. Uh, it looks like I was working on that and just stopped one day. All the like screwdrivers and everything is in here, so I can fix it if I want to, and I definitely eventually will. So let's see if the screws are in here. They are, yep. Uh, I would do it on camera, but it'd be a little bit hard to do with the camera in my way. But those are actually pretty collectible. And I got this random one. I am have no idea why each wheel is a different color. I don't know why I did that. I don't remember why. I probably just did it because I could, and that was an option. And then my most collectible out of my fingerboards is a Rat Fink board as you can see it's from 1999 yeah uh so these this is like my crown jewel these are actually quite expensive on ebay now um it's really ugly <laughs> actually um this one was gifted to me uh a long long time ago at the height of the craze um you know because basically they're like you need a quality one right and then I also have this outfit for the fingers, so you, uh, it's really cheap, it came with one of the boards. But you put this on, and then you're like this, and so like, you skate around on the boards, woohoo, look, my finger is so cool and pro. Yeah, that was a thing. My hands are just small enough to fit in this stuff, it is kid sized, I just have kid sized hands. So this is one of the ones from McDonald's. I don't know if you remember these fingerboards that you could get. This was the first one I actually got at McDonald's. Uh, then the next one I got was this one here, I believe. And you can't change out the wheels or anything. These are, like, a lot cheaper, but, I mean, you know, it was the height of the craze. Um, and then here we go. Here's the other one I have. And then, I have this one. There's like a dude in my class that totally looked like this, and so he thought it was like hilarious that this board existed. Because of course you'd bring all these to school, right? And play with them with your friends. And then I have this one here. He also is the guy that's on here, but you can see his boom boxes in it, so. And then also, it spawned like a bunch of different like toys and things. So this is a snowboard. Yeah, you can finger snowboard, because if you don't want the cold or the sports, you should finger snowboard. I actually really like the design on this one. It's like that like crazy like high like art that they had. Um, but it's, I don't know, it's like stoner art um, for my snowboard. So I do have a bunch of the wheels all in here in little bits, and then I have some more here, and then this is like all the tools and everything. I mean, I guess I probably have all this stuff because it just, you know, it was so easy to keep it all, you know. But 
because of the boards, it spawned a bunch of other finger toys. Now, I don't have the hand um, boards that you could get, but in this Hello Kitty box, I do have something I was keeping for a long time. These came out near the end of the finger board craze. Ugh. So, I'll just put all the spare parts over here. Yeah, there's finger pogo sticks. I never really used these ones, and I can't keep it in with the uh, the boards over here because of the handles. I wish they were a little bit smaller, but that's a thing that came out. And again, it came with all the stuff that change out with it, just like any of the other ones. Like, as you might have seen with the wheels, there's like handles that change out with that. And then the last thing, this is the only one I could find. I had more, but they're Tech Deck dudes. And so it was kind of like, after the fat had died, they tried to revitalize it. And so she actually came with a skateboard, but I couldn't find it, it was a red skateboard. I found the dudes, because I had one guy and two girls. And uh, I found the surfboard. And so you could like still do this with it, but mainly, you put these on, they're magnetized, and then you're like, woo! And if you look, it's a thumb, right? So, yeah, it's it's on the end of it. They tried to get some more life out of it, and so then they created this. These were awesome and collectible. Actually, the reason I bought them is I just like the design. I had this other chick with giant pigtails. She was like Japanese schoolgirl type thing going on. And then... I had a guy, but I don't remember which guy I owned from the set. But because it was the tail end, no matter how cool these looked, uh, they ended up at the dollar stores, like, shortly after. Um, I don't have any clips of, like, the commercials or anything. I don't even remember what the commercials were anymore. But, I'm curious, did you have a Tech Deck dude back in the day? Were you, like, hugely into the, uh, board craze? How many Tony Hawks do you still got lying around? Whoa! And how many Rat Finks? Like I said, the crown jewel when it comes to rarity. Um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. And I'll be getting out more random nostalgia videos. I might do one on, like, Furbies or something. Cause, um, I randomly found my old Furby collection when I was cleaning out stuff from when I was a kid. So anyways, thank you so much. Bye!